Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks Stone Bart review. Now the model I've got today I have actually had since Christmas 2016 um, but due to all the other models that I had to review um, I've only just got round to reviewing this particular one um, but it is quite outstanding what we're looking at today. Um, so without further ado let's get on with today's review. Okay, so as we can see today, we have an Oxford diecast model, but it is the Scania Evo 6 car transporter, as you can see. Now, this particular model has been out, um, I think, about a year to maybe six months or so. Um, but like I say, I've had this since Christmas 2016. So let's take a look at the box first, and then we'll have a look at the model that's inside after. Okay, so starting with the top of the box, as you can see, it's a bit like the Atlas Editions collection actually. Um, it's got an image of the truck that we're going to be looking at today. And as you can tell, it is quite a long truck. And it is quite impressive as well. So as you can see, it's a Scania Evo 6 car transporter in Eddie Stobart livery. Um, it's part of Stobart's automotive division. Now, I'm sure they sold the automotive division on to another company. Um, but if you do know who it was sold to, please leave your comments below. So, taking a look at the other side of the box, as you can see, we've got the Oxford Diecast logo just there. And the words Eddie Stobart in white writing, which have a red outline around each of the letters. Taking a look at the size of the box, as you can see we've got the Stobart cab wrap design printed very neatly. Again we've got the Oxford Diecast logo. 176 scale in the oval just there and the product code for this model is 76SCT001. So let's just turn it around to the other side now. So as you can see on the other side it's identical to the side we've just looked at. So Again, you've got the scale and the product number, as well as the Oxford Diecast logo. Now, taking a look at the bottom of the box. So, as you can see, um, it says here, um, obviously, the warnings about the parts, etc. Um, Oxford Diecast's address, as well as the code, and again, and product description. Okay, so let's open this amazing model and take a look at it. Now I did hear a part rattling about in the box when I was bringing it downstairs, I've had it in my room quite some time. Um, so we'll just take it out and we'll have a look at this amazing model. Okay, so from the outset it looks absolutely outstanding and we'll take a close look in just a moment. So I'll just place that down for a moment. Okay, so this is actually something new that you don't usually get with Oxford die-cast models. Um, it's the instruction leaflet for the Scania car transporter um, and it's, it's designed to carry the Oxford Diecast 176 scale vehicles as well. Um, I think it shows some different variations of what cars you can use. It tells you how to balance them on the car transporter and how to secure them more permanently using the pins supplied. I mean, it looks absolutely brilliant. I mean, it even shows you where to put the pins on the car chassis as well and what to secure them with, as you can see. So as you can see we've got some different variations here. So we've got a 12 car Vauxhall Corsa layout, as you can see. And we also have an 11 car Land Rover layout as well. So I might actually purchase some of these from Oxford Diecast and put them onto my car transporter. But that is absolutely fascinating. So it shows you how to fix the ramps. Um, ramps that you can leave off if not required. Um, I suppose it depends on the length of the car transporter. Um, depending on probably how many cars you're carrying as well. So, um, I mean it is quite detailed this is. But we won't be putting any cars on it just for the time being, but I'm going to keep hold of these instructions um, just in case we do put some cars on it. 
So we'll just put them to one side for a moment. Okay, so let's take a look at this fascinating model then. Okay, so as you can see, here we have the Scania Evo 6 car transporter. Um, first off, it's not too light, it's not too heavy, it's a bit in between really. Um, so I was going to take extra care when taking this plastic outer sleeve off. Um, now I think they've designed this a bit differently than they, they usually do. So what I'll do, I'll just see if I can prise this open. Um, so what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to pause the video just for a moment and then we'll carry on with the review. Okay, hey everyone, so I'm back. Um, we've just taken the plastic casing off the model. Um, it was a bit tough to take off, but we got there in the end. But I've got to say, from the outset, this model is absolutely outstanding. Um, I just cannot fault it at all. I mean, the design on it is just out of this world. So what we'll do, um, we're going to leave the model on the stand for today. Um, it's just that I've got to build another shelf in the loft to put some more models on. So after I've done that, um, then I'll take this model off and put it on to display in the loft and maybe add some cars to it as well. So let's crack on with the review then. Okay, so starting with the front of the model, so I'm just going to bring the truck in a bit closer um, as I think zooming in might blur the focus slightly. So on the top of the visor, area just there you can see we've got the word Stobart in white moving down you can see we've got the wing mirrors and the blind spot mirrors on the left and right hand sides just below the windscreen we've got the Scania wording in low in silver well I should say Scania logo should I say um, moving to the centre of the cab now as you can see we've got the cab wrap design printed very neatly just there um, it looks like it's a Scania P420 um, as I'm just trying to look at the little badge on the left there um, whilst looking over the top of the camcorder as well. Now the name on this particular model is Iona Louise uh, but we'll just try and see that P420 a bit better if you can just see there. So I'll just zoom out a bit as to not cause bad focus. So moving down you can see we've got the headlights and the indicators on the left and right hand sides and on the red and white striped bumper at the bottom we have the number plate which today is AY12AKU so we'll just zoom the camcorder back out slightly so let's turn the model round to the side now so what I'll do um, due to the length of it um, I'll go across the stand very slowly and talk about it in detail so you don't miss anything okay so starting with the front of the car transporter then so, as you can see, um, we've got these, first off, we've got these ramps. I mean, these do adjust. Um, now, that one has just come out of there. Um, I don't know whether it's snapped out or just clips back in, but there are some slot holes there. So, we'll just leave that down like that just for a moment. So, as you can see, parts are very delicate on the car transporter. Uh, as identified by myself and I don't know whether I've actually broke that or whether it does slot back in I'm hoping it slots back in um, but like I say these are movable um, so you can adjust them to put the Oxford diecast cars on um, so as you can see we've got some rails that protect the cars from coming off on the sides um, and we've got the screw holes just there as well now taking a look at the front half so as you can see we've got the stobartgroup.com website which is just located above the passenger door just there moving down you can see we've got the silver stobart s arrow and the cab wrap design printed very neatly on the bottom of the passenger door you can see we've got the name again and the fleet number which is a9300 now the a stands for automotive as you can see um it's like a short six wheel rigid really but this wheel here um, is shorter than the rest now I have seen this on most trucks and I've never really known what it's for um, but if you do know please leave your comments below so moving along now to the trailer section 
So as you can see, again, we've got some more of these ramps up here. Um, this time I'm not going to touch them whatsoever. I'm going to leave them well alone. But as you can see, we've got the Stobart automotive design um, featured. So as you see, it's on the top here, as well as on the sides. Again, we've got the ramps just there. I mean, like I said, these can be adjusted um, to fit the cars on. So, like I say with the front one, I'm not too sure if I've accidentally broke it or whether it'll just slot back in. I mean, looking at it from over the top of the camcorder, it looks like it just slots back in, so luckily it'll just be a simple clip back in job. But as you can see, again on the bottom, um, now this hasn't broke off, don't worry, um, but this is what was rattling around in the box um, when I was bringing it downstairs. So obviously you can adjust this to where you want it in relation to where you want to put the cars on the car transporter. As you can see it's styled on a triaxle trailer, hence the three wheels on either side of um, the automotive carrier. So let's move the model round to the other side now. I'll just place that back on. Okay so taking a look at the back, so obviously, obviously as you can see we've got the indicators, brakes and reversing lights on the bottom just there. And again the number plate which is AY12AKU as well as some warning puzzle panels or reflective strips whichever you wish to call them. So I'll just zoom back out there. Um, apologies if it was like my hands shaking, I'm just trying to hold it with one hand there. Okay so as you can see looking down the length of the car transporter it is really a long truck. Um, and it's obviously the first one that Oxford Diecast have done. But they have done an absolutely outstanding job on it, um, because obviously I know Stobarts did have different styles of car transport, so I think they have a few rigids as well. So, anyways, let's take a look at the other side now. Okay, so moving the model around to the other side. So as you can see again, um, there's nothing much different on this side. Again, we've got the Stobart automotive design um, printed on the majority of the green area just there. But if we just zoom in down there, we can see, is that the trailer number? Which is TL5879. Um, now this is probably, oops, apologies, the camcorder just slipped a bit there. Um, it will be featured in the Stobart Fleet Manual, so I might have to have a look at what that actually stands for. So moving along again now, um, as you can see, again we've got the divide where the front car goes on the bottom layer, and where they also plug into on the top layer, just there. So moving across to the short rigid wheelbase section again. So as you can see we've got some railings. Um, I'm guessing these stop the cars from coming off. Um, but they might also be used for other purposes. But if they are used for other purposes please leave your comments below. Again you can see we've got the stobart.group.com website on the top just there as well as the fleet number on the bottom of the driver's door which is A9300 and again the name. So um, I'll just turn the model around. I mean as you can see it is a really really fascinating model and it is well worth the money. I mean I think this originally cost me around £25 um, through the fan club well, like I said, I did have it in December 2016, so it's been a while in reviewing, but we have got there in the end. Um, but I highly recommend this model to anybody. Um, obviously, if you're in a Stobart fan club and are a collector, or anybody who's just into car transport, as this particular one is definitely worth the money. So that's it, basically. The Scania Evo 6 Car Transporter in Eddie Stobart Limited Livery.